Hello and welcome everyone. I am the game commentator for GameBase and this is the commentary for what is probably one of the best games ever created. This is the commentary for CSR Racing 2. Now, if you're a if you're a car fan, if you love cars, um, and even if you don't like cars that much, like if you just just like cars, you're not like crazy about them. This game is like really good. Like I've been playing um, this game for a really long time. Now there are other games that I play a decent bit, but this is one of the games that I've put in a lot of time into, just because like it's that good of a game. So right off the bat, first of all, hello, look at this beauty. This is an Audi. Um, just oh my god, look how pretty it is. So this is one of the cars that I own. Um, this is my full garage let's see we got um, we got a bunch of cars I have like I think like 10 or something and so I don't know let's let's just look at things and let's talk about them as we see them first of all we see something like um, some numbers like t1 t2 t3 uh, that's the different tiers for the different cars so cars in this game are categorized in five tiers so one to five um, five being the best and so we have a bunch of cars in tier 1, a uh, bunch of cars in 2, 3, 4, and then we have one car in tier 5. This is like insane. I mean, let's uh let's take a better look at this car real quick. Now, the interesting thing is this is a car that you can actually get for free, and I actually got this car for free yesterday. So, if you play the game like right now, you can actually get this car for for free which is seriously insane. It's like it's a complimentary thing that the game's doing, but Anyway, so the cars range from uh, tier 1 to 5, whatever. Um, let's look at some, some of the other cars that I own. This is another one of them. I'm really proud of this one. I'm personally a very big Mustang fan. I really want one in real life. It's Look at this car. It's so, so pretty. So, we are obviously going to play a couple games. I want to show you guys what the racing is like. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking if I should show you guys the upgrades and colors first. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. So... There obviously it's a racing game, it's a car game, so you can upgrade the different parts of the car, like the tires, the transmission, the engine, etc. Um, we have a couple different currencies in the game. We have the cash. So if you see the top right of my screen, I have like 386,000 in my account, and then there's another currency which is gold, which is, I have 575. There is another currency which which are keys. So let's go back and show you guys that real quick. Um, if I go into rare imports, let's see. So yes, we have the keys. Now there are three types of keys in this game. We have bronze, silver, and gold keys. Of course, gold keys are the the, the rarest ones, and it is actually really hard to get your hands on them. Now you can obviously purchase keys with real money, but you can win keys in different competitions, like in a multiplayer game. Um, so that's basically it now what are keys for you can use keys to buy crates so for example right here we have a couple crates for for keys and they can they can give you a bunch of cool uh, prizes like cars um, car parts like special card parts like important ones um, let's see we have a free we have a free uh, crate that we can open right now so let's go ahead and do that and see what we get Awesome, so we got a car part, a fusion part for Aston Martin, um, ooh, for a Lamborghini car also. Okay, awesome. Um, yeah, this is another thing. You can watch ads in this game to to uh, open another crate. So, you know what, let's let's watch an ad. Let's, uh, let's open another crate. All right, let's see. Okay, nice, another fusion part. Okay, this one wasn't that good, but that's all right. So, as I said, you can per you can use these keys to purchase different car parts. If there's a specific one you want to, you know, upgrade a specific car, that's something you can do. But it's not a necessity. Like I personally, I don't really chase keys because if you are really crazy about upgrading a special special car, um, you know, having some rare imports, you can do that. But I've gone this far in the game and I haven't really relied on keys at all. So if you just want to you know keep it simple keep it light but still fun i would say don't don't really worry about the keys but let's see if we just go into the the upgrade section for 
just one of my cars you can upgrade any other parts for either cash or gold which is what I recommend um, let's see if you go into this section right here you see my garage uh, you see all the cars you see their stats and so right now I have the Mustang GT premium and so the number next to the tier is like the strength essentially of the car so right now it's 519 and then there's a number you see after that uh, in this case it's plus 77 and that's basically it's, it's called the evil point and it's basically just how much extra um, advantage you have gotten from upgrading your vehicle or tuning it so okay if I swipe and check out my tier 4 car which is the Audi I mentioned or sh showed earlier um, the strength itself 603 and with some upgrades I got it up by an, by an additional 69 and then if we look at the tier 5 once again 603 is the base strength but I have not upgraded it and so it's a plus zero I think that's pretty pretty straightforward you can obviously sell these cars for for some cash back but you can also purchase cars once again with coins with cash and let's say I want a tier 4 car I just go into the the buy car section and there's a whole list of different cars that you can purchase so um, let's see this one oh my god a Viper GTS for 430,000 like, I literally could save up just a little bit and I can buy this car it's insane like it's really nice um, the good thing about this game again just one of the good very many good things about this game is that you can actually get vehicles by not just purchasing them so you can get them by literally winning cars um, and so I clicked race and this is a whole big list of different like missions and events that you can play in the game this is why I love this game so much there isn't like one or two things to do there's so much to do in this game um, like it's insane it's really it, it really is crazy there's so much so you have your normal events like regulation um, you know just regular easy races for some quick cash uh, you have like the ladder again like you can the races get progressively harder you you earn a little more money this ladder is for tier one so this is you know at the start of the game this is when you haven't unlocked the higher tiers yet so you can still do them but of course you would have to select one of your tier one cars to play um, but of course you have the other ladders also this is a tier 3 ladder which obviously unlocked and as you can see the rewards are obviously better the, the higher you go up in tiers um, the, the better the rewards and once again you have your tier 3 regulation etc your, your, your normal games right your basic fun events and then you have some other ones like the crew battle now this is personally my favorite event in the game and I highly 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 recommend you playing it um, the way it works is that let's say you start the game you are you are in tier one uh, and you do the crew battle and so there's a crew that you challenge and you have to beat like every member of the crew and once you've beaten every member of the crew you go against the leader of that crew and once you beat the the leader of that crew three times um, you get to keep their vehicle if I go back to my garage the Toyota 86 the first one is actually one of the vehicles that I got from the crew it was a tier one when I beat the leader I got that vehicle and so right now I'm in the tier 3 crew battle and this is the third race against the leader so as you can see um, it's curse Kurtz number three and so once I beat this leader for the third time there will be one more race for the car, for the literal car. Um, so right now, let's see. If I win this race, I win $340,000 cash. It says it's uh, the difficulty is hard, which I can understand because it, these these missions are pretty challenging. Unlike the, the ladder and the regulation races. I am going to play one or two games of the crew battle just to show you guys, but let's go around and look at some of the other things in the game so I am gonna play a couple of races uh, I really do want to play a crew battle race but it does say that the difficulty is hard right now and that's probably because my car is just not upgraded enough so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back this is my garage once again and I am gonna upgrade my car just so it's ready for for the race um, and let's see so my tires seem to be pretty good so far if I in, if I upgrade my transmission it definitely makes a big difference in the game let's purchase the transmission oh 
damn okay so this is a pretty annoying aspect about the game but it's kind of what makes it kind of realistic is that when you purchase any part or car uh, it takes time for it to arrive now you can use gold to deliver like instantaneously or you can watch an ad to reduce the time but it does take time that's a bummer but that's what upgrading is like now you can also customize these vehicles like the looks of it now this is a new feature in this game and it's elite customs now let's see if I go to okay I'm going to select a different car for this one this is a Mustang Boss 302 now this is actually another car that I won yesterday which is pretty insane this is this is the first car that you win from this elite um, elite new event um, if you go into the race and if you go to Izzy's back right here Izzy's back so this is a new event that lets you win this special currency I'm not sure what it's called but it's pretty easy races um, so far at least so let's see I'm gonna play a game and I will win a hundred of whatever this currency is so let's go ahead and play our first CSR racing game for the day what all right so of course I'm going tier 1 versus tier 1 and this is what it's like so boom I have to shift up and try to get it into the green section oh perfect start nice perfect shift and I got the nitro on the left perfect shift once again boom just left the other car in the in the wind that was no competition that was so easy awesome and just like that we, we earned some okay so they're called elite parts awesome we just earned some elite parts and I could play another game but I want to show you guys how we can spend these elite parts to customize a vehicle so if I go into just right here um, actually I'm gonna use these elite points for the other car like I like this car but it's a tier 1 and I prefer my tier 3 Mustang so I'm gonna select this car once again I'm going to go into the section once once again so now I have 120 elite parts and I can purchase this pack pack of paints for 15 awesome all right maybe later let's pack let's buy a pack of rims uh, liveries why not okay now we can go into the show me and this takes you to the customized section uh, and we just unlocked some liveries oh my god beautiful okay let's uh let's check out some colors just so just so we make it a little more clear oh ho, ho. just would you look at that that is nice and now obviously I, I do prefer the the look I had before this um, because that was also customized by me, but this is a pretty classy look like it is really nice Now I have to mention of course like if you look at the, the right of the screen You still have to spend cash or gold to purchase these but the lead parts are what you use to unlock them So if I go back into the colors say paint or livery th These are all locked um, Until I unlock them using elite parts that I win from the competitions the races so I am going to go back. I am going to leave these in the store. I'm not going to purchase them because I like my look. But what I am going to do is play a crew race because I'm a crew battle. It is it is hard and I don't have my part to make it easier. But let's go ahead and try it anyway. Okay, so so when I mentioned that when you win the crew race, you win the, the opponent's, the leader's car. The car that we're playing against right now is the car we will win if we beat the leader, well, well after this one. But I know the last one is always extremely difficult. Oh, okay, we got a good start. That's not good. We needed a perfect start. Oh my god, no, she won. She won. That's it, like, it was so close, but until we purchase, like, an upgrade, I just don't think we can win. Man. Oh, that sucks, but that's okay. <laughs> 
All right. So one very important aspect about the game that I haven't talked about yet is well fuel. This is this is probably my only criticism about this game or something that I don't like is that there's limited fuel. You know, I just can't play this forever and ever all the time is because, you know, um every race that you do is at least one fuel and so eventually your fuel will fuel tank will run out and so you have to wait a while for it to refill or you can use gold to do the same but i wouldn't really recommend that because i would say save up your gold uh use it to either you know purchase um a car or something but yeah i mean if you want to if you want to continue playing by all means but you can also watch and add um to get one fuel pip so before i end off this video i am going to play a live race which is something i really like about this game um for that one i am going to select this super super sweet car that i got for absolutely free yesterday we're going to go back into race and i am going to select a a live race so as you can see the rewards for live race are pretty high 12,000 you can have further up oh, there we go so just like that like everybody's racing with this car just because up oh, never mind let's we got someone with a another car but just because this car we got for free yesterday everybody's using it okay i'm gonna challenge this guy um he might actually still win like he 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 seems to be a very very experienced player what oh hell no 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 i am not i am not staking like two hundred thousand no way what the the guy literally just raised like a hundred ninety five thousand dollar stakes there's no way like i've been saving up for so long uh but maybe this guy we're racing with the same car, but uh, maybe I'm just a better driver. Hopefully I am, because I don't really want to lose again. Um, okay, well, we can raise 2,000 stake, sure. All right. Time to see who's the better man. Oh my god, I just, I, I just did an early shift, but he launched pretty late. Oh yeah, I'm definitely winning this. Oh my god, look at the speed on this bad boy. Oh, ho -ho. Ho -ho, she's flying. What? Insane. That was a piece of cake. And just like that, thir eight, 20,000. Oh, well, 19,000. And look at that, live challenge reward, 20 bronze keys. So what did I mention uh, earlier? That you can play live races and, you know, multiplayer games to win keys. You can save them up and just just use them wisely is what I would say. Okay, actually there is one more thing that I want to show you guys before I finally end it off. Is this new feature, new event of this game called Legends. So this is a car, this is a Ferrari that you can get for, well, not, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say free but for very easily from an event. Um, and so it's the Legends uh, event. Let's see, if I go into race, let me show you guys this really quick. If you go into this one, right, Legends, uh, it's like a restoration, restoration event, right? And so if you play a couple of very easy races, you can win this car. And the, the I guess the, the trick is that it's a, it's a very broken up car and so you kind of can't use it until you restore it fully so far it's six percent restored and so again there's another currency especially for this event um and so so far i have 800 of them and so if i want to restore everything i just need to play that event um a lot and i can save up this currency i can restore this car and then i will have a brand new uh ferrari 250 gto which is very exciting uh really quick um, there are some rewards for like goals. So let's see. Oh <laughs> Nice, we got five silver keys So if you do your daily goals like perform four perfect shifts collect 
easy, easy cash in this game. That's what I love about the game. It's not that hard. Like right now, I have 365,000 365, cash. Um, I can purchase a very nice car if I want. Um, once again, 10 bronze keys, 15 bronze keys. Just for doing like simple everyday tasks. And that's what this game's all about. I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. I hope you guys like this game as much as I do. It's it's honestly a very, very nice game. Um, you will have a lot of fun regardless of whether you're fanatic about cars or not. Um, you know, there's just some, like the graphics also, like how pretty is the, are the graphics? Like, oh my God. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. If you did, make sure to check this game out on Game Base. Um, thank you for watching. Enjoy.